forgive your enemies, but never forget their names. Quote John F. Kennedy. 1917 through 1963. I'm gonna go all over the road on the on this point here. On this quote, forgive your enemies, but never forget their names. Because I think there's so many things to cover here. You know, what is an enemy? And me, for me, I'll say I have um, personal enemies. Um, just public enemies. People that uh, endanger truth, threaten truth. Because one could say, you know, oh, they're only lies, you know, that, how can you say that that's your enemy? Imagine if, uh, if I was a doctor and I would say, yeah, your bill, your bill of health is completely clean. You're, thousand percent healthy or I sold your car that, that or knowing that, that you had cancer or some sort of disease that will kill you within months or what if I sold you a car that um, and you was in bad shape would break down in less than a thousand miles and you're giving me your savings and taking it to work and carrying your family and you're going on a big long road trip you know, some could say, you know, no, that's just bad business. It doesn't make you my enemy, or that's not an enemy. And no, I think an uh, enemy could be someone who tries to hurt you politically, personally, physically. And that doesn't mean you take cut everyone with the same sword, <laughs> with the same sword, the same axe, same action. No. Keep away, critique them. Only in when life is in danger you know, do you strike back. And uh, for me, when I think of uh, my own enemies, people that uh, doubt you, attempt to sabotage you, or have sabotaged you, or delayed you, attempt to uh, psychologically or physically keep you down, hurt you physically or emotionally, um, I think it's trying to keep those people away and and I don't care who it is you know, throw them under the bus fuck them you know I, I see all these um, when, when I see these news stories of um, the baby mama got together got back together with the psycho baby daddy and decapitated her and Fucking whack the whole family and the neighbor, the neighbor's goldfish. And I'm thinking, man, that must have been horrible in the um, up in the Siberian mountains. But no, it happens in, in America, in America where I mean, you got uh, places to go, man. You, you, how many? I'm not certain, but how many support groups even women have? Um, sheltered women's shelters there are 
There's no male shelters, but there are some for uh, women of domestic violence. I forget this, the talk that I heard of some dude who, um, he was the victim of domestic violence from his wife. And, I, and I'm getting sidetracked because there's, there's so many things here where, you know, people are people and when people are just not taught to say no, not taught to walk away, not taught to step forward, step forward, man. Some people have called me callous because I could um, break up with someone fucking in a heartbeat. But no, I, I believe, like Oprah said, we believe someone can just show you who they are the first time. If they're not honorable people, people with the same uh, morals that you, morals that you, morals as you, similar morals or values or integrity. Uh, walk away from it. There's no need to fucking say, well, what I thought. You know, we talk about this. How could you do this to me? No, we're supposed to be together. No, no, you, you lied to me. You said you'd love me. No, I don't. Um, that's not me. I'm like, oh, you lied to me. All right, let me hug you. Um, let me massage those titties one more time. <laughs> one for the road. And, uh, and let it go. Let it go. Easier said than done, man. It's like you don't understand. And, and of course, the the mix is um, much more different once you have a wife and kids. You know, but I think when someone does you wrong, and I don't mean someone someone uh, says, "Oh, I'll pick you up at the airport at three o'clock tomorrow," and I'm thirty days from now, and they oversleep or they they're an hour late or they make other plans thinking that it's the proper date or they plan or they think that they plan accordingly and that's your BFF your boy your best friend your girlfriend your boyfriend your husband your wife oops fuck up unfuck it take care of it uber it bam you're cooking lobster for a month now And to hang your head, hang your head in shame for the rest of the day. But no, um, and I, and and too many people forget that, and and when people believe that, well, I gotta keep this person as my BFF, as my best friend, as my lover, as my boyfriend, as my girlfriend. We need to hold this relationship because we're blood. We got history. I mean, no. No, no, no. I sound so boring saying this, but... I have to mention it because it. I, I get. A, I'm amused when people argue <laughs> every 30 days, shouting that. No, but you don't fucking understand. You're supposed to respect the fucking man. Listen to me. I'm the fucking man. I'm, I'm older than you. I know better than you. You know who I am. And I'm like uh, thinking, you're the annoying ratchet motherfucker, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, but I think people who, who think small like that, I don't even say are dangerous, can be reckless, so just stay the fuck away from them. And, and if you are one of those motherfuckers that likes to argue, why? Why do, why do you argue? Why? Why? What the fuck's wrong with you? No, I'm not fucked up, man. They're fucked up. What the 
What the fuck's wrong with you, man? Walk away. No, but you don't understand, man. All this time I put into this relationship. Walk away, you fucking moron. Or uh, be alone. You're probably a fucking asshole that just needs to be alone and be like, man, why do I have... Why do I fucking get all homicidal when someone forgets to put uh, onions on my burger? When, um... Why do I get all psychopathic when... I think, when I'm trying to watch Game of Thrones but you want to... What else happens when Game of Thrones? But you want me to... Help around and... Make spaghetti. And, uh, yeah, I'm not down with that, man. I'm not down with that. People who want to get all suicide over some shit like that. I'm like, come on, fucker. It's. What is it? And I think a lot of people are scared to look in the mirror and be like, man, you know what? Maybe I have low self-esteem. Maybe my childhood, maybe um, I was taught as a kid to be macho from a macho idiot. And I think I will be And I think child abuse cannot just be physically or just sexually, but it could also be, could it be morally or psych psychologically? And it could be just as devastating because if you go to the uh, Live Leak uh, website and you see some of these um, fucking piece of shit mothers, man, parents, fathers that are... Uh, Distract uh, someone at a at a store so that their child can go ahead and run behind the counter and um, steal the uh, purse or the phone. And, and I'm thinking, man, this kid is gonna believe that you know you shouldn't lie, cheat, or steal. But but when my mama says so, when my daddy says so, it's okay. And uh, and they're gonna do that. They're gonna do that to the wrong star one day. To the wrong person. I seen some fucking idiot attempt to take something from somebody. Take something from take something that wasn't theirs from somebody who doesn't put up with that shit. Have you seen a fucking grown man, man, macho man, tough guy, cry, cry for his mom, yell, scream as loud as physically possible, nope, and uh, bad luck just fucking slams him in the face. But, um, well, because uh, someone taught him, someone, or someone either taught him that it was okay to steal, or someone didn't teach him that it was not okay to steal. And, uh, to the other cliche of, if you don't teach your kids, the streets will. Be aware of who's conditioning you, man, because, again, man, I've seen beautiful people go rotten, amazing talent just rot away, quit and die, and, you know, it, it pains me, especially when, when I, even when I say, like, man, those guys are, are off the hook, man, she's hot. You know, he's amazing. They could do a lot, man. Man, 
man, what, what potential, man. I'm, I know I'm going to see some amazing things from them. And, and, and it doesn't happen, man. You just see... Uh, you see the soul die, not just the person. F fuck the body. A funeral is just the, the death of a body. But man, on a, on a guy's, on a person's soul, man, and the character is just beaten. It, it's its essence, somewhat showing through the body language of the um, the carrier, and um, man, that's it. It makes me uncomfortable to see that now. I like this side better over here. I'm losing my train of thought because I like this side better. I'm about to erase this other one. You know, the, um, the Jocko Podcast uh, YouTube channel, it's definitely making me uh, marinate on my own thoughts, recalibrate, check the values, check my morals, check my integrity, check my, um, my compass in life, and where I am on that map. Again, I could I could be a motherfucker, be like, you know, welcome guys, all happy, go lucky, cheerful, fucking shine in my smile, and sell you this, sell you that. Welcome guys, buy my shirts, buy my prints. Come on, guys, have a nice day. And um, but I think if I did that. I would be setting you guys up for failure. I think we all, most of us are, uh, generally speaking, the same. We want, we we enjoy, really, we find such pleasure in being loved, being appreciated, and um, we enjoy doing good or helping others. But, but somewhere along that formula, that simple formula, bad shit happens. You're like, wait, how, how, how the hell does, does that shit happen? And uh, I think it's important to just evaluate, how did that happen? And... Again, I could get in a milk crate, I mean milk, gallon of milk, in a milk crate, that's the proper word, a milk crate, um, get a megaphone and uh, start preaching exactly what I'm saying on the corner of uh, some main streets and, and preach all day. And say something like, you know, oh, all you guys are not reaching your potential, you don't understand this or that. And, uh, so what? I think that, that even that you're not re reaching your full potential. I may have to use a ruler here. And me, I figure, 
if I'm um, trying to make this as even as possible, I think. Yeah, what I'm doing. The point of this is saying, you know, I know what my goals are in life, and the only way for me to accomplish them is to take action. And uh, that's what I'm doing here, working on my collection of work. And I think everyone should work on a collection of work. Maybe some of you people haven't found, you know, what is that thing that I want to do? That thing that I know how to do. That thing that I want to improve on. That thing that I want to share. That product or service. That cheesy poem. Just kidding. If your poem's good, fucking share it, right? Just, I'm just not much of a poem fan. Poem, fan of poems. But no, don't let that, don't, <laughs> don't fucking let that stop you from fucking uh, doing what you like because <coughs> excuse me, because even me, I've had uh, um, people who are business owners who know who old timers who know what they're doing. Say, you know, you know what? Eh, we don't need that stuff around here. It's not gonna sell. And I'm thinking, um, I'm not, I'm not there to argue. I'm just like, okay, thank you. And uh, sorry that that should stun me that uh, that comment because it, people have said that to me. That stuff's not gonna sell around here. I'm like, uh, you do realize that there's uh, what cult, modern culture is, or pop culture, what's out there, what people like, uh, and um, no, that's that's actually true, man, so, yeah, I still haven't gotten used to that, I may have to change this part. I did get lost on my point. Thinking about the straight edge here, how this could look better. I'm probably gonna erase these hearts. Just lightly erase them. Forgive your enemies, but never forget your names. And, I, and people have told me, no, oh, you should forgive them so you don't, um, so you can live with yourself, so you don't, um, you don't have to live in, in fear and regret and hate and whatever the fuck they're saying, right? And I'm like, um, I think so. You know, why don't you go um, right to the warden of every prison and make pen pals and tell everyone, hey, you're forgiven, you should be forgiven. Um, as a matter of fact, when you get uh, released, you come live at my house. Come live at my home. Oh, hell no, we'll never have an accused rapist. A rape. Thank, no, you're not a convicted rapist. Convicted murderer, convicted child molester, convicted arsonist, convicted um, credit card scamming identity thief motherfucker. Um, in your house. But I thought you said you forgive everyone. Fuck you. You're, you wouldn't fucking have those motherfuckers there. And even if you are a fucking inmate here that's trying to make an honest buck, you, there's a long road there ahead for you. You know, but me just being me, me seeing uh, human behavior. It'd be, I'd be very reluctant, based on experience. 
racialist. You're racialist. Okay, I'm racialist. lost in this um, design here. Yeah, it's, it's bad people are like a pile of dog shit. You know, maybe you stepped on it once, but you won't step on it again. Or you, you're trying to step on the same um, same pile again. And if you do, I'm thinking you probably were careless or let your guard down. But what distracted you? Oh, yeah, but having convicts. You're such a forgiving person. Having convicts come live with you. No. Oh. Hey, oh no. I think people are people, period. Here. I'll do it again. 